Hey, this is Jeff Brindley from RWS Financial Group. Have I ever told you what RWS stands for? It stands for Retirement and Wealth Strategies. But that's not all that we do here at RWS. One of the things we do is contingency planning. Have you ever thought about contingency planning? You may not do it consciously, or maybe you know, maybe you do it subconsciously. But contingency planning would be uh, like if you were planning a vacation, and the contingency planning. Let's say you're putting a lot of money into this vacation; the whole family is going. Uh, contingency planning would be if somebody gets sick, what are you going to do? You may not be able to go on that vacation, so maybe you buy a little bit of insurance, vacation insurance, to make sure that that all the money that you've spent, um, you know, doesn't go down the drain. That would be contingency planning. Or contingency planning might be if you're looking for a house, and um, you've got a house in mind, and that's your top pick. But if for some reason it, the uh, offer doesn't go through, then maybe you have a second house that uh, is is almost as good as the first house, and you would put in an offer on that one. That would be a contingency plan. I think the most important contingency plan would be for uh, estate planning, would be for if something happens to you. So if, God forbid, you become disabled for whatever reason, What's the plan? What's the fallback plan? If God forbid you should pass away earlier than you uh, uh, than you expect, what's the contingency plan? How's your family going to be taken care of? Right? That would be a contingency plan, and that's handled all through estate planning. At RWS, I have a contingency plan. So my contingency plan is, if God forbid, I become disabled for one reason or another, my team is going to jump in, go through my notes, find out who I've got appointments with, either right away or in the next few weeks, make phone calls to those people. But they're also going to make phone calls to the people I don't have appointments with. And that's because they don't want you to try and call me and, and, and not get an answer. So they're going to make sure that you know what's going on and that you know who to call if you need something. So my contingency plan is to take care of you, the client. Um, and that's it's all set and ready to go if something should happen. And I think you should have a, a, an estate plan or a contingency plan if something should happen to you as well. And that's not just a, a legal document. We're talking about having the financials all set up as well. Make sure your financial status is in place, is set up in place, so that you can take care of your loved ones if something should happen. Or if you become disabled, your finances are in order. And your legal documents. Obviously, the legal documents are important as well. So if you don't have an estate plan, you don't have a contingency plan, both for your finances and your legal documents, give me a call. I work together with um, attorneys that, that I work with, but if you have an attorney that you're working with, I can work together with, it, with them as a team as well. So give me a call. You can actually access my information by clicking on the button up there. That'll take you right to my contact information, and you'll be able to access it there. And you know what? Uh, there is a saying that you should prepare for the worst and hope for the best. And we don't want the worst to happen, but we should be prepared for it. We should have a contingency plan. And so we do hope for the best for you, but give us a call. Give you a little bit of peace of mind along the way. So with that said, I hope to talk to you soon, and take care. Bye-bye.